All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of the Coin King video. Today is uh, Sunday, February 7th, 2021. Um, I want to start off by thanking everyone for subscribing to my channel, The Coin King. I have over a thousand subscribers now. Um, so I really appreciate everyone hitting that uh, subscribe button and the like button. Um, before I get started, I want to um, make sure to disclose to everyone that I'm not your financial advisor. Um, I'm just here for purely for, you know, just entertainment and some informational stuff about different coins and projects that, you know, that's pretty interesting to me. Okay, so I'm not your financial advisor. So always do your own research and due diligence before you make any decision to buy and hold any cryptos or any assets. So, with that being said, um, again, just check out my channel, The Coin King. Uh, got a lot of great videos on here. So let's go ahead and get things started today. Uh, it's got a few things I just want to go over. Uh, but let's take a look at the market on uh, Sunday, February 7th. I'm on BitMarketDaily.com. Um, you're looking at Bitcoin. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in. Bitcoin trading around 38,000. It was 40 last night, so it's a little bit dip uh, in the market. Not very much, as they always say in this, you know, this type of market right now. We are in a uh, bull market, and um, you know, dips uh, was a dip is all uh, is for buying. That's what they say. It's true. I hate to say it, but it's true. You know, a little dip here and there. It's kind of like if you want to get better position or a little better position. Um, you know, you can do it on a, a tiny dip day from, you know, th from 40,000 to 38,000. That's just a little small dent there. Uh, Ethereum was almost 1,700. What well, was over 1,700 trading at 1,582. So it's a pretty little trace down from the 1,700 range. I think it's going to run back to 1,700 and then 2,000 shortly. And Teeter uh, at number three. Cardano is the one that's killing everybody right now. It's crazy how Cardano has ran... Uh, the past few days 62 cents i think this morning was like 69 or 70 cents just about it was an insane movement so i wish i had loaded up on cardano i have few cardano but when it was 0 0.02 i wish i had like loaded up a bunch of cardano and that was just very very dumb of me uh i should have known better you know anyone who's uh, any project that's started by ethereum founder like charles hoskinson on a new project like cardano i should have basically been more confident in the project but, I mean, at least I have some Cardano, you know what I mean? And then you got XRP, 42 cents, Polkadot, 19.53. Again, I've been adding mainly more like just Polkadot because uh, I think Polkadot at the end of the year and the next few years is going to be a very clear winner out of everybody. Um, it's probably going to be sitting next to Ethereum, if not even surpassing Ethereum at one point. Because, like I said, Polkadot, there's so many different projects coming out under Polkadot right now. Um, you can look at some of the YouTube videos from other people, you know, they're always talking about different project and then check out the, the website for that project. And it's pretty fascinating stuff out there that is being built on Polkadot and just, it's growing like crazy, you know? So at 1957 is a steal because a few weeks of a month ago, it was like four or $5. Now at this price, I think it's going to trace to $30 next and it's going to be pretty much zoomed to 50 and more. End of the year, polka dots probably be $100, $100 plus per polka dot. I'll probably, yeah, $100, $100 plus is, is pretty much uh, uh, very doable, all right? So Binance Coin, $68. Litecoin, $150. Chainlink, $24. Dogecoin is killing it again. Of course, Elon Musk is going nut along with Gene Simmons from the group Kiss and Snoop Dogg over there doing, you know, with the, the imitation of the Lion King where he's holding a little like a little lion and you know so instead they're holding the dodge or the the, the dog so that's kind of like people are going nuts over that and it's like it's a hype project but it's growing um i should have kept i'm so disappointed i sold dogecoin back then for a little tiny profit like a dummy i should have known dogecoin was part of history of the crypto community i have no idea why i did that that was a huge mistake of me again like i said i make mistake right and uh, Stellar at $0.38, cents, Bitcoin Cash 443, USD Coin 99 cents, Uniswap 18.28, and then Ave uh, 444, Wrap Bitcoin 38,000, Bitcoin SB 184, EOS 238, Cosmo $13, Monero 149, um, and then the rest, of course, you know, you want to go to bitmarketdaily.com just to 
take a look at it, you can. I, I won't go through all these, all right? So, because one thing I want to talk about today, of course, is my failure. Not my failure, but well, I will say uh, my instinct that I made the wrong call in a project that I uh, really, 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 really admire and like a lot the most. And it's a DeFi project that I made a video about before in the past. And the reason I'm not that exciting today, or excited today, is because of that project fail, fail me, but also fail the entire, uh, really, crypto community, if you think about it. Um, you know, it, it was shocking when I went to their website and, uh, you know, and to find out that they're going out of business, um, you know, just like, it was it was just really really shocking and I'll, I'll go ahead and I tell you exactly you know what it is too is that DMM governance DMG um, you know it's post it's one of the most promising DeFi project that when I read up and discover I said you know I really like this project I think this is gonna take off because not only because it's a solid team and the idea behind it is so unique and different um, and it's also of course backed by multi billionaire. Uh, you know, Tim Tim Draper, uh, along with uh, Draper Garan Home. I think that's the uh, the project, uh, the investment team. And I don't know why the stupid internet is not loading the picture. It's so freaking slow. Here it is. So anyway, you can see the article. Wow, the picture loaded. This piece of shit. Uh, anyway, um, so there it is. The middle is Tim Draper, and then. Alan Goran is the guy on the left. Um, these are the, the folks that actually back. So as you can see, the article is said right there. Tim Draper, billionaire VC, who has personally, previously backed Tesla, SpaceX, Coinbase, and Badu, and is heavily invested in crypto, has purchased a stake in DMM, the Centralized Auton Autonomous Organization. Draper and the team at Draper Gorham Home Vent Venture, a leading fintech VC fund, focus on rapidly growing blockchain startup announced today they purchased a stake in DMM DAO, the governing organization of the DeFi money market protocol. Um, that was in March of last year. So uh, I took position in this probably like three months ago when it, the price was dipping. Um, and I was really, really super excited about it uh, because, uh, you know, the, like I said, the idea is a DM protocol acts as the bridge between Ethereum digital asset and real world asset keyword real world asset allowing the holder to earn interest completely on chain so you know they taking money from the uh, you know the, the the dmm and take it out there and invest in real world project and then return that once because once they make money or whatever higher interest in the six point tie 6.25 five percent that they give to the, uh, the, the 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 people that put their money there uh, is to guarantee 6.25 uh, interest and uh, you know I thought hey this is really different and unique and it's backed by Tim Draper and all those you know, capitalists you know and um, and of course and the CEO is, is this is this guy right here um, was it Gregory Q I think his name so that's his Twitter page of course uh, you know it seemed like he was very knowledgeable and was a really CEO material who's actually is going to carry this project. Um, you know, that, that they were heading in the right direction in a, a global, um, as far as, I don't say global, but as far as law and regulation, I, I was assumed that they follow law and regulation or whatever. But when you go to their, you know, website, of course, like DeFi Money, here's the message you get, of course. Um, DMM is the ceasing operation. This is this that's the message because they quitting. Uh, as a result of regulatory inquiry, DMM is shutting down. Is, is shutting down effective immediately. M token mining is no longer available. Um, so it was like my heart just kind of like really just dumped down to be honest because I lost a lot of money in this project, guys. Um, and again. Um, you know, I didn't recommend any of these projects anyone. I just like these projects. And as when I make these video, I mentioned that I, uh, you know, I am a holder of a certain project. I put a lot of money into it. 
Um, and then, you know, I know a lot of people probably lost money from this project, to be honest, and uh, because they were very misleading um, just to shut down. We don't even know why they shut down the project. You know, like, um, they didn't give notice to anyone. I don't think Tim Draper or his investor even know what was really, like, was this not given a, a thumbs up, like, or, you know, type of thing, like giving us a, a heads up saying, hey, you know, give some people opportunity to, to do something even at, at the value it is. I mean, the, the value of this, well, look at this, seven cents right now. It was like 55 to 60 cents on the day of the trading, and then it collapsed to seven cents. That's when I said my heart just dropped. I was like, what in the world? So I looked at it, and then sure enough, I went to their website and talking about um, they they are basically stopping the operation of the DMM, you know, which is, like I said, is totally shocked to uh, me and all, all the holders of this I mean, there's so many people who put a lot of time and money into this project, probably more than me, and we expect some answers from these people, you know what I mean? Like, what, what, you know, why did you do this? You know, why did you not follow the rules and regulation or whatever? You know, you, you, you start a company in the business. It's your job and duty to do this, you know what I mean? So, um, I think it's going to be, people are probably going to be end up suing them for this, um. You know, there's going to be some lawsuit. This, you know, like I said, it's just, it's crazy that the project gets shut down without giving anyone any type of, like, uh, detail of what's going on other than it's shutting down due to regulatory inquiry. Like, what the hell? I mean, look, look at XRP. XRP went through the same thing, right? As soon as they, at least they announced it, the price dropped, but they, are they still trading or, you know, are still in operation, um, but in this thing here is, it was like, that's it. It's like, there was no, like, you're not going to go to the court and try to argue this out, DMM Foundation. You're not going to do any of this. And I think I was reading on Twitter, um, like I said, the investor don't even know. I think they lost money because they don't even know what the hell's going on. I don't even know. I, I hope we, I hope we can hear something from them. Um, I hope they announce something or say something. Because, like I said, this is, is terrible. Um, I lost thousands of dollars from this, and it's you know, it's, it, it really hurts me. Um, they're disappointing. Um, and, you know, I took whatever little that I have left, which is like a huge, huge loss. Um, and I just bought a few of the... Uh, I just put the little money that I had left that I was lucky enough to even get anything out of it from the loss that I, that I encountered from this DMM... Uh, mess so I just moved it over and uh, into Kusami um, which is the cousin of Polkadot and uh, you know this is one of my favorite projects and I'm not I, I think I'm going to stay away from D5 stuff that's you know I'm going to be a little bit more iffy about D5 project due to the DMM foundations mess um, you know so this is what I just basically put whatever I have left from my loss uh, from the DMM uh, uh, mess is, is the Kusami. So this is a, a scalable network of specialized blockchain built using Substrat and nearly the same code base as Polkadot. So it's founded in 2019 by Gavin Wood, which is the founder of Polkadot and co-founder and CEO, CTO of Ethereum. So, um, you know, it has a low circulating supply. I, I'm pretty sure, I'm very confident that whatever um, that I think I'll, I'll recoup whatever the heck it is the uh, from the mm uh, mess that that I went through. Um, so yeah, I'm still at a huge loss, but you know I'm gonna just put that the little left money that I have and put on Kusami. Uh, I think this project will take off. Uh, I don't think we have to worry about any lawyer regulation like this. Oh boy, this just hurt just thinking about this. Really, so. Um, Wow, I mean, like I said, I, I'm still speechless at the, at the, at the, at the mess that, that that we just encountered with DMM guys. So, I hope everybody's okay. Um, you know, just like I said, it's hard because a lot of people put a lot of time and money into this project. Um, you know, and it's it's just ridiculous that we that it ended this way, especially in the bull market. You know what I mean? Like, 
you expect stuff like this to be happening in the bear market, like after all this is done. You you expect to get those kind of news, not in the middle or the in the beginning of the bull market rally. And you know, I don't know what the CEO Greg Gregory guy here. Be I want to just ask him on Twitter right there, or I don't know, but he hasn't said anything. Uh, I don't know if he's the one that's behind all this mess or what. Um, you know. Because I thought he was a professional dude, you know what I mean? I thought he was a, going to be a good CEO and very open to everybody. They were doing AMA on YouTube a lot. And, you know, I did not expect none of this to be happening. So, um, yeah. So I hope Tim Draper and them get, uh, maybe find out, give us more information. Because this makes Tim Draper look really bad. Like, as far as, like, damn, dude, you you pick a lot of shitty projects or uh, that to be backing because you you know what I mean? Unless he's part of the game. I don't know. I don't want to say all that stuff. But I'm just saying that this is a total mess. Um, so, uh, you know, everybody who's down on money or whatever, uh, you know, I don't know how you're going to, as far as, like, what your decision is going to be. But I made my decision. I just basically just just sold it and just take a huge loss and just move it over to Kusami. Um, Kusami, uh, and I'm just messing mainly with Pretty as far as a serious project, polka dot. Uh, as you know on Twitter, I have my my project that I'm pretty much confident on. Uh, you have uh, you know I buy Bitcoin itself, Ethereum. I have all this um, uh, polka dot, uh, Zelica, Nimic, and um, and Cardano. Of course, that's killing it right now. Um, so I tried to put a lot of quality project into my portfolio. Um, you know, that's just, that's just the safest way to be, you know what I mean? Because I really didn't think the DMM was going to be a mess. I really thought that it were top-notch quality project with quality team, just like the rest of my blockchain project that I'm, you know, looking into or have position in right now. But, uh, you know, yeah, it's really, I want everybody to, you know, if you encounter issue like this with, you know, that you are disappointed and sad about it. So I want you to know that it isn't the end of the world, okay? We sometimes we gotta take the big loss, and if you have little loss left, you know you can at this time put in a quality project that will basically recoup all your money easily. But don't pick shit coin. Don't pick project that's gonna be like that you doubt out doubting or don't pick project that you think oh my god it's gonna. This one coin that nobody heard of is going to take off. If you're down with money from DMM, whatever, choose a project that's going to be long-term, that's going to be around the next two to five years, you know, especially like Polkadot and Ethereum. Uh, I don't think they're going to go in Zelica. I don't think they're going to go anywhere, especially the Ethereum and Polkadot. Um, you know, I think this is, they've been around since 2015, 2016, if they've been there since then, they're still here now. That means they're doing something right. So, you know, put your stuff in there. Um, that's what I do. You know, I don't. You can do it your way. Like I said, I'm not your financial advisor. So, um, you know, choose a project that's gonna return all your money. And I'm pretty sure Kusami. I'm pretty hundred percent positive that Kusami, which is the cousin of Polkadot, founded by the Polkadot founder, Gavin Wood as well. This thing's trading at like 100 bucks or something, right? I'm pretty sure this thing's going to go to 1000 to 10000 per per Kusami. Because the circulation of Kusami, if you look at it, um, it's very, very low. And a lot of projects before they launch, they may use Kusami as a test uh, environment. Um, you know, so a, a lot of projects going to be using it. Um, and as you can see, uh, if I can find, what was it, the circulating supply, look at this, max supply of Kusama is only 10 million, holy crap, 10 million, let's do the math here, right, if you think about it, circulating supply is only like 8.9 million, so let's just round it off to, let's say, 9 million, right, can, can Kusami actually become um, uh, a $5,000 per Kusami, right? 
5,000 Kusami would give it a market cap of 45 billion. Um, I think it's very possible, 45 billion, uh, especially when Bitcoin is pushing uh, like seven, eight hundred billion, it probably will go to a trillion. And Polkadot right now is like 20, close to 20 billion circling supply. And like I said, the market is still not even in a like mid range as far as like, is this a, uh, you know, with like the bull market, people expecting to run into the end of the year or even next year or some. Um, so, 45 million Kosami. 45 billion market cap for Kusami at 5,000 price tag. Can that be done? I, I certainly think it can. Right? I really think it can. Um, even under 5,000. What I don't know how many you put on DMM Foundation uh, that you lost, but that's how I view things. I, I mean, I, I pretty much, I guarantee you, I will recoup my cost with that little left money left that I have for Kusami. I mean, for DMM Foundation, just putting in the Kusami, not even touching it. Just let the thing run for itself, especially 109. That's a good price for it. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video, really. I just want to go over the DMM um, mess that we went through. Um, and like I said, I hope everybody just try to be, you know, positive about it. I, I know it's hard, but, you know, just think about, you know, it's, 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 it's only money that you're down or lost. You probably didn't lose it all, but, you know, don't go nuts. Don't, you know, like, try to do stupid stuff or anything like that. Uh, pretty much everybody can make a comeback. Um, like, for me, like I said, I'm very confident I'll make it all back plus more from uh, just investing and in buying Kusami right here. So um, just read it out if you want to get, you want to check out Kusami or Polkadot. Uh, even polka dot will just save you. I think polka dot's gonna run to like two to three hundred in a year, or even to a thousand, two thousand next few years. So that's what I'm saying. Quality project. Just don't go out and do anything stupid because this DMM thing went out of business. Just stay positive. It isn't the end of the end. It isn't the end of the world. Um, you know, there's so many great stuff going on this year. So just because one bad project it isn't gonna spoil the whole bunch. Kind of like one bad apple. Right? Why let one bad apple spoil the whole bunch? So just be positive. Um, yeah, I, myself, like I said, I'm, I'm just, you know, a little bit still kind of like traumatized by it. But I'll live. I'm not going to die over this shit. Okay, so anyway, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button on my video, guys, uh, if you can. Um, until next time, peace.